Hello viewers, welcome to the fourth episode of GD with Nitin and today's topic is GD rules. We had covered this uh, in small uh, content when uh, we spoke about EQ versus IQ. A lot of our viewers said why don't you do an episode particularly with GD rules and that's the reason we are going to take GD rules as today's episode. So what we're going to do today is talk about how to start a GD, what is the content and what is that we are going to talk when we are speaking in the crux of the GD and how are we going to close it. This is what we are going to focus predominantly on today. Now let's start with how do we start a GD. Now a GD can be started by any of these ways. The reason why I'm saying is the first impression is the best impression. How do you create the best impression. Now, if you have to just give an introduction to the topic or introduce yourself, it is good, but not really impactful for you to leave an impact. It is absolutely essential for you to do one of these. Remember to write it down, make a note of it and start it this way. Look at some of the ep episodes that's already shot or look at the episodes that's going to come a little later. We would be giving an example for one of these. Now, let's say um, the first point. Start with an example of yourself or a story. You know, you can talk about your own example and it has to be crisp and short because you would not get more than 20 seconds to speak. And in that 20 seconds, your example can be for 10 to 15 seconds alone. Start with facts. If you're talking about what is the population of India, that's a fact. What is the GDP of India? That's a fact. Now, these are things that can lay emphasis and also an impact in the listeners and also the participants mind. The third one is caption and saying. The ground rule in caption is when you are quoting somebody, the quote has to be just the way it is. You can't rephrase it. Number two, you can also mention the name of the person who was given the quote. Just in case if you don't remember the person who was given the uh, name of the person, it's okay. Go ahead and give the caption. The last but not the least is ask a question. You must be wondering why should I ask a question? Am I not giving the others a chance to speak? Here when I say ask a question, you ask a question and you answer it yourself. Right? Uh, what is the population of the country? And then you answer yourself. It's 1.3 billion. Right? So you are going to give an answer to yourself. So don't allow others to speak. That's the whole idea. You're going to speak for 20 to 30 seconds at a stretch. So that is going to be a great start. Now you are given a great start. Go to the content. You would have written down the, uh, uh, the name of the topic. Define the topic. Again, go back to some of the videos to see how do we define a topic. Give a little bit of just about the topic just so that everybody around are on the same page. This is the topic for discussion and welcome everyone to be a part of the GD and contribute towards the GD. Once you're done with that, if you have any facts, figures, give those and then move on to giving your own opinion. It is important for you to give your side of the story and my request is take sides. It's always easy to stay in the mid path and say this is also good and it is not also good. You know, staying mid path will not help you um, create an impact for you. You can always say that I agree to both sides, but my in my opinion, I would say this is right. And it is right because of tuck, 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 tuck. Give those reasons and explanations. Listen to others. Very important for you to listen to others. GD is just not about talking. Listening to others is important. The reason is the moment you listen to others, make notes of it. And you can all, always give your perspective to the point that is mentioned by the rest of the participants. Right. It is not only about your points. You can always uh, add to somebody's point or contradict to somebody's point. Add your point of view, right? Which which we have already covered. So these are the things that you'll be do, doing during your content. The last but not the least is your closure. Now, how do you close? Close is very similar to your start. Well, um, you know, when you start, the first impression is uh, the last impression. But when you close. The last impression is a lasting impression. So it's going to last for a very long time. So its impact uh, is very, very high. And hence the stakes are high. Here, end with a closure. Your closure can be as similar to your start, which is it can be factual, it can be story based, or it can be uh, any of these captions or ask a question. And then you close it. Right? These are the things that you are going to do and then conclude by saying, this is what my opinion is. 
right? This is how you close a GD. When you incorporate the beginning content and the closure, it is going to be a very impactful uh, GD session. So the interviewer will remember you and you have told what you're supposed to be saying. Now, do's in an interview. Listen to the subject very carefully. When the interviewer gives you the subject, make a note of it. Put down your thoughts on a paper. Otherwise, in case if you have not understood it clearly, you are going to talk about something else while the topic is something else. Initiate the discussion if you know the subject well. It's a big risk, but it's, it's a high stake. If you know the subject, pounce on it, give your perspective. You know how to start a GD right now. And then you're going to talk about the topic. So you are going to be the initiator only if and only you know the topic. Otherwise, it's all right to you know wait for others to talk. Gather the points, what others are saying, and then you contribute. Do, don't really wait for somebody to give you a chance. Keep waiting and then pounce upon an opportunity. Listen to others if you don't know the subject. Make short contributions of 30 seconds three to four times. That is not a prescription. There's no uh, blueprint. However, this is acceptable. Nobody is going to allow you to speak more than 30 seconds. So... Talk for 30 seconds if they are allowing, continue. Normally, there's an interjection from the other side. Three to four times is what you would want to contribute. Give others a chance to speak. If you have seen somebody not contributing, well, this is my opinion. Uh, what do you think about it? I'm, you know, can you, you know, what's your thought? What's, what's happening here is you're encouraging others to talk, which comes across as you as a leader, you as a people person. Speak politely uh, and pleasantly. Respect contributions from other members. If somebody is talking, don't interject. If somebody just started, two, three seconds, and then if you interject, it does not come across well. Allow them to talk for 10 to 15 to 20 seconds. Then you might want to um, cut in smoothly by saying, I would like to add, thank you, that's a good point. I have a different thought. I have, you know, interject very beautifully. It has to come in very smoothly. Right. The last but not the least, summarize the discussion if the group has not come to a consensus. In a GD, consensus is hardly found. So, and thereby, you might want to end the GD with by summarizing and also giving your conclusion. So, these are some of the tips that we wanted to share through this video. I hope it makes sense and it's going to benefit each one of you. Please do like, share, leave your comments and subscribe to uh, this particular video and um, I'm going to come up with some more uh, videos and episodes. Please do go ahead and catch up with that. Thank you so much. All the best.